Hello, this is Boss Patel, and we have a new set coming out, which means there's time for a new Drive from Work series. Uh, for those unfamiliar, um, when sets are revealed, I look at the stuff online, look at the cards, look at the comments, and as I drive home from work, I talk about them, look at the strategies, see what comes up, and see what we can figure out for the set and cards going forward. I uh, note with this set uh, continuing missions for second edition, there are going to be some repeat cards from prior sets. So if there's a day where it's no new content, do not expect a new drive from work entry for me. But with that, let's go ahead. Yeah, continuing missions. It's 36 cards, 11 personnel, the rest are all missions, and as someone who's seen the set, I gotta tell you, it really is something. Richard's introductory article told us a lot about the set. There's some cards you can slot into existing decks. There's other cards that'll make brand new decks. Just look at the blurb on the bottom. Ferengi Delta Quadrant. That doesn't exist right now. Like, there's cards in the Delta Quadrant that the Ferengi can attempt, but there's no major reason for the Ferengi to go into the Delta Quadrant right now. Uh, very interested to see what comes out from the cards from the set. There's a lot of great stuff in here. Uh, but specifically looking at the cards today, they're all Maquis related. Uh, note that there is a spoiler on Facebook which I will be discussing, but you will have time to jump out. Um, just realize that it is there. If you want to hear about it, I will be discussing it. If not, uh, you'll want to jump out before we finish up. And I believe that takes care of the preamble. Just remember, I am driving, so it's not like I can easily <laughs> excuse me, I'll refer to notes or anything. But, yeah, uh, this first mission is in the Badlands, and it, um, when you solve it, your opponent either has to let you gain five points, or give you two events from their core. First thing you want to do is look at your missions. Do the math. Is it going to be significantly easier for you to get those five points, because you really can't count on them. Because if you do, your opponent's just going to let you take the, the events every time. But this mission itself is worth 35 points. So you're doing that either way. Uh, five points isn't a make it or break it, but it can help you with a cushion. Uh, the other thing to look at is the events. Uh, there might be some times where they'd be happy to give you their events. Uh, something that they might be able to play around with, even. Uh, just make sure that they don't put any of their really, really, really good events out uh, before you solve the mission. Um, or they can even in integrate that into their strategy. Commodities. They want you to have them in your core. And it's their choice whether you get the five points or the two events. So it might play into their favor, but more than likely there will probably be something in their core that you can snag. Um, even if it's a free unexpected, which is already free, or a surprise party, or just whatever's been annoying you that you want to annoy your opponent with. Uh, speaking of which, a lot of the Maquis deals with annoying your opponent. Um, but there are some cards in the set that help you out a little bit more. Um, take, for example, Ro, who's kind of the corresponding personnel to go with the set with the Maquis missions. Um, four coster is a little on the expensive side, but when she uses a skill to solve a Badlands mission, you can put a dilemma under your Demilitarized Zone mission. I'll have both regions linked in the description down below, but this does kind of open up a new deck, which doesn't really focus on either the Badlands or the Demilitarized Zone, just goes with each. It is kind of helpful that the headquarters mission for my key is in the Badlands, but that's not a requirement. Um, it does also dictate how you play. 
that it isn't necessarily a bad thing because, as Richard said, a lot of the demilitarized, a lot of the Maquis events that play on missions play on a demilitarized zone mission. So, if you solve your Badlands regions first, that gives you more time to get stuff to put on your demilitarized zone missions. So, then that's necessarily a bad thing, just sets you up for some success later in the game. Um, helps you, like, a couple dilemmas. That's like a turn right there. Um, depending on how successful you are with attempting missions, you might have already gotten one or two under with your attempt. So, yeah, it's a pretty good deal, though it does kind of dictate how the game goes from your perspective. Alright, that's it for Revealed Cards. I'll see you next time there are new cards to discuss. Uh, remember that there will be spoilers on the social medias. Feel free to check them out. Plus, I have been given permission to do a puzzle. You never know when that'll show up. Alright, spoiler over. Ready for spoilers. Here we go. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, Hogan, <coughs> excuse me, uh, spoiled on the Facebook page, along with a very humorous caption image from Johannes. You, you will want to take a look at it. It is well worth your time to take a gander at, but whereas Roe is good for the hybrid, Hogan is not. You either have to go and get your benefit from the Badlands missions, or your benefit from the military zone missions, but not both. They require three. And with five missions, you can only do one or the other. Have fun taking your choice, but he is pretty good in both decks. Um, one last note with Ro. Um, she needs to use a skill to get the benefit. But one of her skills is navigation, and to kind of need navigation in those Badlands missions. Uh, the good thing with Hogan is, once you make the choice, you know where you're going. Like, you know if you have a Badlands deck or Military Zone deck, so you can actually plan around that. Alright, that is all that I have for today. I'll see you later, but yeah, a new expansion day, and... Um, there are some really great articles coming out. I'm um, looking at the people who've signed up for them. Um, there's a few that even I didn't think of, and I was looking at the expansion overall. So, yeah, we're in for quite a treat all around. All right, thank you very much, and I will see you next time.